ಆನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respect. I am ready. With all the beautiful gifts from Kailasa to share with you all. First thing I want to tell you I am committed to make myself available to all of you and make all the best things from the kailasa to make it available as user friendly day to day practical usable gifts all the best things from the kailasa will be made available to whole humanity best user friendly way whether it is the science of power manifestation or the mandalas extraordinary planets please understand i am not using the word plants plants is separate planets graha mandalas which creates an energy field when it is placed in your home or office they are called planets the energy planets the graha mandalas this is the next gift from kailasa i have brought it for all of you understand all this everything i am committed to make it as user friendly available to all of you from today will be continuously available to all of you through morning and evening satsangs morning satsang will be in english evening satsang will be in tamil and the kailasa senate meetings kailasa congress meetings kailasa lok sabha meetings and kailasa rajya sabha meetings kailasa will have four parliamentary bodies senate congress lok sabha and rajya sabha so those kailasa parliamentary meetings also i'll be available and every day i'll be accepting the pada puja and doing dial the avatar calls and all the other sevas i'll be accepting personally so i'll be available to all of you i'm committed to all of you and i'll be available to all of you that's the first assurance i wanted to give for all my devotees disciples sanyasis yogis yoginis especially my favorite gurukul balasans my kids i know it was very difficult one year for all of you me not being available continuously maybe last two years 
So, today ends all those sufferings and all those periods. From today, I will be continuously available. How I was available in 2003, 2004, 2005, in those years. Because now, the internet facilities are available. I will be available more than 2004, 5. Maybe I will be available for all of you 18 hours a day. And the remaining 6 hours, I will be available for the Kailasa parliamentary meetings. Kailasa Senate, Kailasa Congress and Kailasa Rajya Sabha and Kailasa Lok Sabha meetings. All the sciences, power manifestation, healing, raising the quality of your existence, consciousness, everything Parama Shiva has gifted, he has downloaded into this system and it is manifesting for all of you as a gift to humanity. Understand, all my disciples, all of you will realize the waiting was worth. I know I have made you all wait for at least last two years. You will realize now the waiting was worth because of the, the quality of the gifts downloaded into this system through this period, this time of spiritual seclusion. The amazing gifts Paramashiva has downloaded into this system. I am overflowing in oneness, samadhi, love, gratitude, awareness, integrity with Paramashiva. Understand all the words I uttered. Awareness, integrity, love, faith, belief, oneness. All these are actually one and the same when you connect with Paramashiva. I tell you, faith in Paramashiva or being aware of your existence, belief in Paramashiva or being integrated to Paramashiva or oneness with Paramashiva, all these are same. I am overflowing with that space and will ensure all of you who declare your integrity to me also experience that same space. The first thing I wanted to share with you Nothing is needed from your side other than declaring simple integrity. Just simple integrity and listen to the satsangs, that is enough. This system is now fully ripe with extreme compassion and life positive attitude. Understand? When I declared my simple integrity to my Guru, Arunagiri Yogeshwara, all I know is what he loves, I will love. What he hates, I will hate. What he wants, I will want. What he does not want, I will not want. That's it. That's what I call simple integrity. You don't even need to struggle because I am going to give you the most powerful logic 
in which paramashiva functions understand please all of you understand this one point we always think we are too smart just by coming to conclusion we can execute the conclusion whenever i try to speak elaborately about vegetarian lifestyle or compassion people try to intervene and say ah, swami ji what do you want to say you mean i should be vegetarian i should drop non veg that's all na okay but whoever talks like that i have always seen they fail when they start executing understand listen very carefully if you try to jump to conclusion without loading yourself with enough powerful cognitions your conclusions will not be powerful enough to break your patterns so when you struggle when your conclusions are not powerful enough to break your patterns when you struggle when your conclusions become powerless you enter into frustration and your anger turns towards guru and the whole system signs understand whenever you are not able to make your conclusions into reality gather more knowledge more powerful cognitions the higher logic with which the powerful cognitions can be realized in your system can become reality in your system gather them understand now i am loaded with powerful cognitions all you need is a simple declaration of your integrity to me that's it nothing else just simple integrity nothing else and listen these powerful cognitions when they fill you more and more they will make your conclusions powerful enough to break the patterns jumping to conclusions without gathering enough powerful cognitions is the reason you fail to execute your conclusions you fail to manifest your conclusions as reality in your life many time i have seen whether i am talking about celibacy or i am talking about vegetarianism or i am talking about breaking the tiredness breaking the boredom breaking the laziness or breaking the delusion breaking the confusion breaking the violence breaking the anger breaking the lying pattern what ever i am talking about if you decide oh this is the conclusion let me if you jump to conclusion without loading yourself with enough powerful cognitions your conclusions will not be powerful enough to break your patterns and when your conclusions are not able to break your patterns you get into frustration and powerlessness and your anger turns towards the system and the guru and the sangha you start losing trust on guru linga and sangha understand now i am loaded with enough powerful cognitions just sit with simple integrity i will load you with this powerful cognition simply the conclusions will break your patterns and become reality 
some of the fundamental truths about existence your existence understand some of the fundamental truths about your existence if you internalize the many conclusions which you need to come to i will not even give those conclusions you yourself will arrive those to those conclusions when you yourself arrive to those conclusions you will simply execute so listen to this understandings jnana pada knowledge when it is internalized lifestyle devotion yoga all the three automatically manifest spontaneously and simultaneously when jnana pada is internalized properly from the right guru charya pada lifestyle kriya pada devotion yoga pada the yogic manifestation all that happens simultaneously and spontaneously that is the power of jnana pada the right powerful cognitions understandings you have four components in you in your life as reality one the matter pure matter like this floor ground or this yoga danda this mic physical matters this throne simhasana that is one component second how this physical matter is experienced by you mana mind understand physical matter is not experienced as same by everyone it varies from person to person for example this yoga danda for me this is the power storehouse whatever powers i have brought from kailasa i store it in this in the form of kundalini and release it when i initiate people for somebody it may be beautiful silver artwork for somebody it is a snake for somebody it is just a piece of art some may think how can i get that some may think if i get it i will worship it some may think if i get it i will sell it and drink some may think oh it is too valuable it should be only with swami ji and should be used only to initiate all of us some may think can i just touch it and do namaskar or receive the powers so you may perceive and experience the same yoga danda in a different 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 way so your mana which perceives the matter is the second component of you third buddhi your intelligence which bridges your matter and mana to consciousness i should say how your consciousness perceives the matter and mana is buddhi 
intelligence understand i can use various words but now i am defining this four parts matter mind which experiences matter intelligence buddhi actually buddhi is the decision maker buddhi is the executive authority of your life consciousness is only a constitutional authority buddhi is the executive authority in your existence it is through buddhi consciousness receives or sends information buddhi receives and passes to consciousness and buddhi receives from consciousness and sends it to matter and mind understand this four components of reality listen all these four works in the same frequency throughout the planet earth for example if you are intelligent in us you will be same intelligent if you go to china or india if you are intelligent in india you will have the same intelligence whether you go to australia or paris the relationship between the matter mass buddhi and intelligence and consciousness will be same throughout the planet earth understand carefully how in planet earth we have time zones like indian standard time pacific time east coast separate time and west coast separate time various time zones planet earth as but all these time zones are horizontal means same space in all these time zones the matter the way you perceive the matter mind and your intelligence decision making authority and your consciousness functions in the same equation see the equation between these four does not change whether you are in india or america or australia east coast or west coast or central time zone or the any time zone of the planet earth the equation between these four does not alter in you listen i'll repeat understanding this truth will help you to come to many powerful cognition conclusions and those powerful cognitive conclusions will enlighten you they will make you manifest many powerful cognitions and make you manifest powers understand i'll repeat matter then mind 
how you experience matter for example if somebody slaps you the pain of the slapping disappears in few minutes but the suffering that he slapped the psychological effect who slapped why slapped and all the repercussions that continues to haunt you understand that is why i am saying the matter is different and mind which perceives the matter is different all suffering is from mind not from matter matter maximum can cause only pain not suffering suffering is from mind the buddhi decision maker always tries to compromise knowing the mind is delusion understand that is the biggest problem see the buddhi knows the ultimate truth consciousness but it always consoles itself i know this is the highest truth but this is the practical reality na so let me respond to it understand not responding to what you believe as practical reality is the most practical reality if you want to be really practical do not respond to what you believe as practical or what is presented to you as practical anybody who does not believe in what is presented to him as practical by the mind becomes winner the most intelligent game in the life is do not believe what is presented to you as practical by the mind because mind is weight thing to get hurt and it is loaded with the wounds of the past it is going to only repeat the pains of the past into the future or make you believe the pains of the past is going to come into the future so it can you can continue to be the slave of the mind understand mind is like you are senior subordinate he wants to keep you under his control he can keep only if you are continuously in problem if you are free from the problem he cannot keep you under your control under his control understand when you are declaring your victories don't look for the people who are celebrating and clapping look for the people who are not clapping they are the cunning enemies they are you are mind waiting to trap you people who don't celebrate your victory be careful about them people who don't celebrate clap for your victory whenever you are successful don't pay too much attention to people who clap and enjoy your success they are all your people they will be with you forever be very careful and beware of the people who don't clap and who don't celebrate your success they are the representatives of your mind who are constantly strategizing to keep you under your you under their control understand matter mind intelligence consciousness 
द फोर्थ कॉम्पोनेंट इज प्यूर परमाशिवा रेडिएटिंग एटर्नली an empowering buddhi intelligence to act through your mind and the matter in this four component you need to understand how the relationship between these four components exists in you in this horizontal time zone the relationship is same if you alter the relationship between these four if you make your intelligence more powerful than the mind the equation between these four starts changing then you experience something called vertical time zones understand i am introducing new word horizontal time zone i already explained all the time zones you have in planet earth east coast time zone or west coast time zone or central time zone or pacific time zone or indian standard time all these time zones are horizontal time zones same sun rises sets and different time zones in different places and the equation between the matter your mind and your intelligence and your consciousness is same in all these time zones if you change the equation you experience something called vertical time zones and if you start experiencing vertical time zones your equations between matter mind and intelligence and consciousness will start changing then the influence of the consciousness over the intelligence and the influence of the intelligence over the mind and the influence of the mind over the matter will drastically increase the whole power manifestation science is all about increasing the influence of your consciousness on your intelligence and your intelligence on your mind and on your mind your mind on the matter listen all these four are your components for example i am giving an example matter is 25% mind is 25% intelligence is 25% and consciousness is 25% for you in the horizontal time zone but if you increase the quantity and quality of consciousness percentage in your existence even if it becomes 30 the whole equation changes it influences the intelligence so intelligence also becomes 30 so naturally 30 30 60 the mind starts reducing so intelligence starts penetrating into the mind not only mind becomes 20% it loses power over many of the patterns so millions of your patterns are destroyed you start perceiving the matter more clearly with more truth with more clarity more understanding more real 
the delusion drastically comes down then you enter into vertical time zone understand the benefit of entering into the vertical time zone you will realize you don't have death i tell you like when you go to different countries and taste different culture how you realize many things only after coming to west the first country i traveled outside india is united states of america usa only after coming to usa i realized there are various brands of cars i don't want to say india did not have brands of cars but my awareness was so uninvolved did not even look or cognize that there are multiple brands of cars how when you move to different cultures and countries your cognitions mature you grow same way if you start moving towards the vertical time zone first thing you will experience is tremendous freedom liberation i tell you a liberated person will be most loving compassionate trustworthy make friends with him because he will never have suffocation inside he will not do anything wrong to you he may be ra most of the gurus ra they are not polished people very straight but they will do so much good to you i will hate what you need to hate in you that's all i will never hate you i will hate what you need to hate in you to experience liberation and enlightenment to manifest parama shiva i will never hate you understand if you experience vertical time zone so much of freedom liberation you will realize this idea of multiple births and deaths is not idea that is reality people ask me why do hindus believe in so many gods i said no we don't believe we just know so many gods exist <laughs> people ask me do you believe in rebirth i said hey i don't believe i just know that rebirth exists when you know the realities of multiple gods and goddesses multiple births and deaths various states of consciousness you become so rich you make very matured decisions in your life understand i tell you i have seen people who don't have penny but make very mature decisions about life because they have a right knowledge same way i have seen billionaires make stupid decisions about life because they do not have right cognitions about life knowing multiple births and deaths knowing the vertical time zone knowing the truths of multiple gods and goddesses 
gives you the strength and energy to make mature decisions for me ganesha actually exists he actually exists in kailasa he is there right now he is right now listening that i am declaring to planet earth that he is there he is happy and blessing when you call upon him i'll give you the password om gam ganapataye namaha just repeat this and call upon him he really listens and responds especially if you are my disciple you have a special conclusion inside you even when your mind goes through mood swings ups and downs you know swami ji has said it means it is true let me connect to ganapati because swami ji said i know it is truth that gives you the whole strength like not only your strength my strength becomes your strength that is the power of integrity to guru understand whenever you declare your integrity to guru all the strength of the guru becomes your strength all the powerful cognitions of guru becomes your powerful cognitions all the wealth of the guru becomes your wealth declaring integrity to guru makes you one and equal with guru you can confidently walk into kailasa and say hey, my guru said ganapati is here i came to see him he gave me the password om gam ganapati namaha please inform ganapati that i have come to see him want to have his darshan my guru told he exists my guru has seen i tell you really he exists and he responds fools are those who say god is on i tell you in reality god is one nas not one the one nas is god i tell you when you experience the higher consciousness decide to be integrated to higher consciousness in my case i decided i'll be integrated to my guru arunagiri yogeshwara that's all just my integrity to my guru arunagiri yogeshwara he makes sure i am protected he strategizes properly the right door will be opened and the right door will be closed and if all doors are closed he opens the roof and lifts air lifts me he does what need to be done he protects all i know is simple attachment to my guru and simple obedience he clearly sends the instruction in the buddhi without any doubt he just clearly speaks clearly manifests i tell you i entered into kailasa just with this simple guru pass master card my guru arunagiri yogeshwara told me parama shiva exists and he has given me this mantra please allow me to see parama shiva that's all the doors of kailasa opened and i saw parama shiva was there when i saw i realized my guru only is parama shiva there is no other surprise 
Paramashiva came as Guru and gave me the initiation and password and master card and showed me. That's it. He has to come as a Guru because he need to talk to me in the language I understand and he need to give me the confidence in the form I can connect with. So he assumed the form of my Guru, Aranagiri Yogeshwara and initiation. That's it. Every day, I will give you the pure, powerful cognitions from Kailasa, make you understand step by step and make you manifest powers. Today, one powerful cognition, master is master card, master is master key. Simple integrity to Guru's words. My Guru has said, Ganesha exists. He is alive. He exists. Ganesha is there. He is there. Let me connect with him. Today, let's all connect with Ganesha and ask him to bless us. Make all of us manifest. Paramashiva. Remove all the obstacles. And let him bless all of us by removing all the obstacles and make us all experience Paramashiva. Ganapati is such an embodiment of joy. Ganesha is actually a part of our Hindu households. More than God is part of our family. I have seen in my family and all, every marriage, in the marriage ceremony itself, there is a ceremony that Ganesha is born as your son and they will hand over the Ganesha for the married couple, newly married couple to start their Shiva Puja. It's a kind of an initiation. In the marriage ceremony itself, there is a ritual where they will tie a sari and sugar cane and put the Ganesha and pour water and show as if Ganesha is like a child urinated and they will have to change the diaper and <laughs> they will say now have <laughs> Ganesha as your child and start the puja. Ganapati puja will be given, then they will start Ganapati puja and Shiva Puja and all the Pujas. And Ganesha Brahmotsam is also happening now, auspicious time. So with the blessings of Ganesha, let us start this power manifestation sessions from today. Understand, I will describe how Ganesha is right now. With 25 heads and 50 hands as the embodiment of Paramashiva in gold and shining way. With 25 elephant heads and 50 hands as embodiment of Paramashiva, Maha Ganapati Paramburul is sitting with joy and bliss and blessing all of us in Kailasa, listening to our prayers. Removing all the obstacles, making all of us experience Paramashiva, oneness. Please sit straight. I lead you all connecting to Ganapati. Let's connect with Ganapati and start this session on power manifestation, manifesting the state, space, powers, being, and super consciousness of Paramashiva. 
So, sit straight, connect with Ganapati in Kailasa. Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha Sit straight, close your eyes. Connect with Ganapati, Maha Ganapati, embodiment of Paramashiva, Maha Ganapati Paramburul. Om Gam Ganapata Ye Namaha. See Maha Ganapati with 25 heads and 50 hands. In shining golden color with extraordinary joy and blessing all of us. Ganesha Charanam Parama Pavanam Nityanandam Gaja
ಹೆಡ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾಗಣಪತಿ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾಗಣಪತಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಹಾಗಣಪತಿ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟಕಲ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪರಮಶಿವ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ being super consciousness and oneness of paramashiva the pure oneness of paramashiva so essence of today's satsang is simple integrity simple integrity to guru master is the master key with this i bless you all let's all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching casting living shuddhatvaita saivam parama shivoham the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful